shit! Ugh. Ugh. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to an unboxing video. It's been probably, uh... Actually, I don't know. I don't know the last time I did an unboxing video. I used to do these all the time because I used to have disposable income all the time, but uh, I haven't recently because I've been spending too much money on uh, other people. But um, basically, this is one of the first times I've ever done a um, a, a blind purchase. Usually when I buy stuff like keyboards or uh, cameras, I research the fuck out of them. I research like crazy and I like look up reviews like will this suit me and all this stuff but this one's an exception. This one is um it was super cheap it was 30 bucks or something like that for a keyboard and mouse that looked it looked incredible I don't know anything about it though it just looked incredible it was super cheap and that's it. I just blind purchased it because it was so cheap I was like hey might as well. So yeah let's open this up and um let's take a look at it shall we I got my uh, trusty uh, butterfly knife. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I still got it. That's the that's the panty dropper. Ladies love the butterfly knife. Oh God! I hope I didn't break it with that intro. You guys probably can't see me right now, but that's okay. I'm just gonna cut this real quick. Yeah, come on, come on. Is that good? There we go. Well, let's uh let's get this out of the way. Okay. Well, here we go. Is there anything else to cut? It shouldn't be. Um. Okay, well. Whoa! Here it is! Here it is, guys! The keyboard and mouse right there! My, uh, my hair gel. I, I, I bought hair gel with it because I needed some. Good shit, by the way. I recommend that. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a bit loud. Sorry. Oh, it's a box within a box. Anything else in there? Hello? Uh. Apparently not. Okay, so here's the actual box. Uh, yeah, okay, they're both inside this thing. So it's called the... The, um... Leton? Leton? Le Leton. Leton? Uh, K1. That's what the, uh... The bundle is called? I don't know if they have individual names. But that's, that's what it's called on the box. So, I'm just gonna go with that. And let's open this up and take a look at it. God damn. Okay, here we go. So here's the inside... I don't care if I rip the box, it's pretty cheap. Got this thing. I got the instruction manual, which is good, I guess. I don't think I need that. But here is the, the mouse. We'll pull this out of here. Pull this out of here, there we go. And uh, set this to the side so you can at least see. So here we go. Wow, it's actually a braided cable. Holy shit. Wow, that's actually not bad braided cable right there. I was not expecting a braided cable. That usually comes with like, Pretty decent mouses. Like my Logitech, uh, Logitech, ah, uh, fuck, I don't know what it's called. It's a pretty, like, $80 mouse or something like that. It's not even braided. Wow, that's pretty incredible, actually. So here we go. Here's the actual mouse. Wow, that actually doesn't feel too bad. It looks cool. Definitely looks cool. With the lights, it'll be even cooler. The buttons don't sound bad. Sounds a little cheap, but, uh, what do you expect? So here's what it looks like. If you guys can see that. It's got the nice braided cable. It lights up. I'll show you with the lights and everything. And then uh, the two buttons on the side. And uh, yeah, it looks interesting. Here's the braided cable. It's uh, pretty decent, actually. I don't like that the uh, it attaches to the mouse pretty low down. Because it might drag a bit. We'll see about that. But um, yeah, uh, the mouse is the thing I'm most weary about. Because when it comes to games, the mouse is way more important than the keyboard. A keyboard is, as long as it types... And it feels okay. That's the important thing. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about the keyboard. I'm just worried about the mouse, how that will perform with games. Oh, this one isn't an abraded cable. Oh, well. Well, we'll throw this to the side. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. So, uh, here's the, uh, the keyboard. I will try my best to show this off. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Oh, the back looks nice. It's Oh, wow. It's pretty glossy on the back here. No, no braided cable. That's a fine. It, it only really matters with the, the mouse because you're moving that and stuff. You're not really moving a keyboard, so you don't really need a, a braided... Oh, wow, that looks actually pretty nice. It feels pretty decent, too. Uh, the buttons feel... It feels pretty decent, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not like the... I have the 
uh, Razor Black Widow Tournament Edition, and that thing's really, really clicky. I like that, but it doesn't feel bad, actually. It's kind of like, uh, it's more spongy. It's not like a mechanical, really. But, uh, I like the way it lights up. It looks really cool. I like the design on it. It's very flashy and stuff. I think there's a bit of sticker you can peel off there. But the, the space bar is really cool on this. Look at the space bar on that. It's like, it kind of hangs lower. And then we got feet on the back. Uh, so you can adjust it with uh, two different levels and stuff, which I will probably do because I usually have it pretty uh, tilted because I have a high desk. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's uh, buttons up here for email and stuff like that. It's pretty it, uh, pretty decent size. It's got the the number pad over here. My, mine doesn't have that. Because I don't want that. <laughs> because it, it my, my keyboard's like really, really small, so it makes more space. But this thing isn't... It's not too big, actually. The layout's a bit odd, but yeah. I like this a lot. This looks really, really nice. So, that was the unboxing of it. Uh, supposedly, this has six buttons on it. Six-button gaming mouse. One, two, three, four... Little mouse button and okay, okay, it does have six. I'm like, whoa, what? Okay, um, so yeah, I guess I'll hook these up, show you what it looks like, and um, and then uh, well, I'll, I'll test it for a while. I'll play some games with it, tell you what I think about the the mouse and keyboard, how it performs, and then um, and then I'll show it off with the lights and stuff because it has like you know obviously really really cool lights. That's kind of the selling point of it. Uh, for uh, such a cheap uh, bundle. So yeah, we'll take a look at that right now. Okay, so we're back in, uh, this is, you know, just uh, showing off what it looks like. Here is the, the mouse. Uh, you can see it, like, rotates all these crazy colors and stuff. It looks really, really good. Even the side looks nice. Yep, as you can see, it looks pretty good. The braided cable. And then here's the, the keyboard. And uh, it's got, like, this nice rainbow design. I don't know, I... I haven't messed with the software on changing the lights and stuff. I don't know if you can actually even do that. But, um, yeah, I've been uh, using it to just play some games. I was playing uh, CSGO and Overwatch and just seeing how it uh, interacts and stuff. And it, it works really, really good. Um, the, the keyboard obviously works really, really good. The mouse can be better. Here is my mouse that I usually use. The uh, I don't know what it's called, actually. I, I the name escapes me. Logitech, obviously. Um, oh, there you go. I'll Logitech G... Uh, 402, yep, that's apparently the model number, but, um, yeah, I'll turn on, turn on the lights a little bit. Oh, God, that looks even cooler, actually. Holy shit, that looks nice. Yeah, look at that. Uh, pretty decent, pretty decent little mouse and, uh, keyboard. Definitely worth, uh, the price of, well, you know, 30 bucks, pretty much. And, um, yeah, I really, really like it. It's pretty good. And, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want more videos like this, just, uh, just let me know, uh, maybe some products and stuff like that, but if you want, you can buy this. Uh, I'll leave a link to the, the Amazon page, which is right there, and uh, you can buy it. I don't know if the price will change, but if the price does change and it goes back up, because it, it's apparently on sale right now, but I don't know if that'll stay there forever, but if it goes back up, I um, I would recommend just going to like eBay or something like that and typing in the Leton or whatever, K1, and uh, trying to find it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I guess I will see you guys later in the next one. Bye-bye!